Greetings from Carrington Cares. I'm Rob Carrington with message 13, How Great Thou Art. How Great Thou Art, God. I'm out here in the beautiful creation of God again. And it's morning. And I hope you can see the beautiful fall colors of that tree behind me. If you see steam coming out of my mouth, it's because it's a little chilly this morning. <laughs> what a beautiful day. And I'm looking at the moon, that same moon I was trying to show you in uh, message 12. It was a, a little speck of white. It's not a full moon. It's a little speck of, of white that you could see in message 12, uh, just above the trees. Well, this time I hope to sing the whole song of how great they are. But I like to share this. You remember how I've said all, uh, through all, all these message, messages, I believe, is that there's always a way is always a way to keep going on, a right way. And this scripture helps firmly uh, implant that in my mind. And again, I'm sharing my faith. I'm telling you ahead of time. And this is taken from God's Word, the Bible, from the book of Colossians. And I'm in chapter 1, starting at verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God. We're talking about Jesus Christ. He is the image of the invisible God. Jesus became flesh, like I told you in message 12. God became flesh. Emmanuel, God with us, when he came upon this earth. Men saw him. To be called the image of the invisible God is to be called God. Jesus is God. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Firstborn of all creation doesn't mean he was created. It means he has preeminence over everything. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. That's what that's talking about. And you'll see that in the following verses, I believe. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth. The tree behind you. <laughs> Visible and invisible, the sun hitting it was all made <laughs> by God, God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit. They're one. <laughs> For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things. He's the firstborn of all creation. And he is before all things. And in him all things hold together. In him all things hold together. He's holding you and me together. He sustains us. And that's why I'm saying there's a way. Because he makes a way. He sustains us. He holds us together. Look for the way. And you'll find it. Because he holds you together. There is a way to keep going. A right way. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning. The firstborn from the dead. That in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. And through him to reconcile to himself all things. Whether on earth or in heaven. Making peace by the blood of his cross. That's how we know this is Jesus, the blood of his cross. He bore the cross for us because he bore our sins. And he paid the penalty for our sins. And we have the faith to believe that he did this for us and rose from the dead and we give our life to him. He comes in us and lives in us and shows us the way, gives us power to live. And I hope I could share this song with you, How Great Thou Art because it sings of how great God is. <laughs> oh Lord my God, when I an awesome wonder, consider all worlds I have
forest glades I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. Then I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook feel the gentle breeze. Then sing my soul. God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. And take me home, joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration. And there proclaim, my God, how great thou art. And sing my soul. our God is. Oh, I picked up a spectator here <laughs> early in the morning. Beautiful. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Remember Jesus loves you and there's always a way. Keep going on. And smile and praise the Lord. He'll give you a way to go through everything in life. Jesus loves you. You can smile about that. God bless you. Goodbye. Enjoy that beautiful sun on that tree. Oh. Wow. It's nice.